Welcome back. In this segment, I will explain how to solve the knapsack problem if the given list is already super increasing set. For example, uh, super increasing, right? Because each element is greater than the sum of all the elements preceding it. For example, if you take 40, 40 is greater than 20 plus 10 plus 5. Okay. Uh, if you take 20, which is greater than 10 plus 5, that's the basic idea of super increasing set. Suppose the target is 90. Suppose you want to check whether uh, 90 can be um, obtained by selecting the values from this super increasing set. Yes, the answer is clear from this example. It must be 80 uh, plus 10. Okay. Uh, why do I say 80 must be there as part of the answer? If I start scanning from the right end of the list, right? The first number that is smaller than the target, this is the target that you would like to match it up, 90. Uh, 80 must be uh, uh, part of the answer. If, let's assume 80 is not part of the answer for a moment. We know for sure the remaining sum of all these elements cannot be more than 80. That's the definition of super increasing set. Therefore, we will never be able to reach 90, which is the target. So if there is an answer, we must have 80 as part of the answer. Okay, so 80 must be part of the answer. Okay, so what is the remaining we need to solve for? We need to solve for um, 90 minus 80 is 10. So we need to solve the sub problem. 10, so if we can't have 40. We, we can take 20 is greater than 10. No, that's also too much. Now we stop it here at five and 10 as next sub list. Okay, or sub problem. And we say, ah, yeah, 10 matches 10. So uh, we say 10 must be part of the answer. Okay. And then we continue um, to figure out what is the difference. Difference is zero. So we stop. Okay. So essentially, we start the scanning from the right end of the list until we have accumulated enough values to, um, to achieve the target value. This is the target value we want to achieve. Okay. So this code is easy to implement. I have implemented it and I will show to you my implementation. It need not be perfect, but I wanted to show to you how to write a little Python program for this. Okay. So let me go ahead and share the screen of my Python implementation. Okay. All right. So uh, here is the map uh, made of 5, um, 8, uh, 5, 10, 20, 40, 8, 80, right? And uh, the target is 90. We'd like to see whether we can quickly get that target. Okay. And then I will show the implementation details. Yeah, you can see here, um, target of 90 can be obtained by selecting the indices one. We have to start from zero. So this is zeroth index. This is first index. And uh, fourth index means uh, the number 80. So yeah. We start from one, this is the fifth one. We start from zero, this is the fourth one. So answer is 90. And we can see 10 plus 80 gives you the value 90, okay? So not a difficult problem to solve when the list is already super increasing set. Okay, now I'll show you the details of the implementation, right? So here is the subset sum increasing problem. Uh, given an array of uh, items, weights, and the target value, uh, we, will, we will come up with the, the indices. For example, in this case, the indices are one and four. How do we solve this problem? Uh, we, we can use recursion for that. Very natural, easy to solve with recursion. Um, we check whether the number of items is, is zero. That means the, 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 the list is empty or the array is empty. We return empty array. Otherwise, what we do, we start the scanning from the right end of the array. Um, we stop the scanning as soon as we find a value in the array smaller than the target value. And we make a note of that particular index i, okay? And then we start the recursion uh, to solve uh, to the uh, subset sum increasing problem again by uh, restricting our focus of the array from zeroth position to the index position, okay? And we will solve for the remaining target value, which is the value minus the array of index, which is the, the, the largest uh, array index which match, which is smaller than the value that we are looking for. That's basically the idea. And I'm using the Python uh, array. And if you wanted to extend an list, if you want to extend an element, you just use uh, extend the command to, to add the array index, okay? So this recursion will give me the list of indices, okay? In this case, the indices are one comma four for this particular test case, okay? And I also uh, go through the indices in this uh, subset sum partition function. And I, I just print uh, 
or, or rather I just uh, put the actual values in the result array by traversing the indices that I get from the previous subroutine. Okay, this subroutine gives me the indices and I get the value of the uh, index um, value at that particular index and put it into another result array and then I send the result, okay. That's the reason why you're able to see uh, the actual value combination 10 and 80, okay. That's all, so given um, an already sorted super increasing um, set and given a target value, it is easy to solve this uh, particular problem, okay. Now in the next segment, we will make use of this and construct a crypto system as described by Merkel and Hellman. All right, thank you very much, that's all.